so here we are going to learn about a very interesting topic called templates so templates let's see what it is it's a feature of C++ which allows you to basically handle different kinds of variables and it it's really helpful when you are making some kind of generic classes like stacks, queues or any class which has generic variable types it can take. So let's take one example and then it will be more clear. So we have let's see function overloading. So what happens we can have different return types and different arguments type and then so let's see int square int x and we return x into x so here we take int as an argument and return x into x which is also an int then we take float as return type and float as argument and we return f into f so it's a float so they are all and then for a double also we have a function so they are all overloaded functions in c++ and it helps because now what we can do i can write a main function and here what we do i write one i is equal to 3 it is int j is 4.3 a float and k is 5.5 a double and then i have i i which is int so that i can make as square of i so it will return me an int so i'm using the same function name and i'm passing to it different types of arguments so that's very good but then we see we have to write so much of code isn't it so we have to write different code which are doing almost the similar thing but only thing is that the variable types are different so is there any better way of doing it precisely in c yes we have one thing called template so what template does is it provides us a generic variable type so we write template before the function square so i write template class t so what it means is that this line is very important template uh, in arrow bracket class t so it means now t is a type which is unknown and what happens is so t is now a variable kind of variable type so it is i'm returning something of type t and square is there then variable argument is of type t and then i write t result result is equal to x into x and return result okay so this means the variable result is of type t and this now t can be anything like it can be int float double etc so now if i have to code what i will do is i will have these int i comma i i j comma j j and all i assign these and when i have to call these functions so what i just have to do is square i will call square and whatever type i am giving i will write square int of i so it means now this function will take argument int and it will return me also an int okay so this is the importance and here we see now i am just using one piece of this small piece of code instant instead of this these three and this number will increase based on the different variable types okay and this is just one piece of code so if we added let's say unsigned int short float long float long double etc so you can understand how much code you will have but here i have just all these cases are handled here and only thing while calling you have to remember is call whatever argument type you want to call with okay so this is basically about templates okay and let's see one thing which is template specialization okay and one more thing which i wanted to tell here is and okay let's see so there's something called template specialization so what it does is we have a template class t again i define and i write again the same thing square function which takes any variable type returns the square of that but what happens if this is something like a string so in that case it will be very ambiguous if i return for a string i return s into s so that will not be good so then i do which is template specialization that for all generic variable types i will handle with the same piece of code but 
if it is of string type then what I will do I will have a special code to handle that and what I write I say template specialization I remove any type here string I give that okay when it is a string so what you have to do is that now this string comes here and I do return ss plus ss so this is the way I define square of a string it is different from all the normal things that we do for all other different cases and hence we can do a template specialization so here you have to remember template specialization I don't give a class T or type name T but in here square so I define which type I am taking both so here it was T here in both the cases but now I am defining that okay, it is string type so this is template specialization then all we can also have multiple templates that is I can have multiple types so template type name so instead of class name I can also use type name so these two can be used interchangeably most of the times so template type name t type name u so I write square and print so tx and uy so they can be of different types then I say that to okay, get t result and u other type are two variables of type t and u and I am just doing some operations on them so these are some of the things that can be done using template class and I hope you understand the basics of templates and how it helps us in uh, making the code very precise and reusing it okay so I hope you understand it if you like this video please subscribe to my youtube channel and spread about my channel with your friends thanks a lot